Hello everybody, my name is Ellie and welcome back to Hush Hush. It's... We're doing more of this. This is right after recording the second episode, so um... And this one's gonna be quite the episode to edit because uh... There's gonna be a lot I'm gonna be doing for this one, so... Let's get into this. To the beach. Driving by the beach, you spot a group of people searching the sand with metal detectors. Also, that's really weird. I don't know if that's, like, intended or something. I don't know. Someone in the comments can answer that for me. <laughs> Sorry for singing. <laughs> Stopping your car and helping out, you see a foldable sign that says, Savosa Detector Society. What do you do? Take a stroll. You're feeling lucky. Level 8 lucky is required for this. Luckily, I'm on easy mode, so I have enough. Yay! After showing once of various detectors for a while, you're just about ready to leave when you stub your toe. Ouch. After a moment to hold back a few choice curse words, you reach into the sand to find out what you hit, only to pull up a small silver bar. Money. Lucky sevens. There are more than a few shocked and salty looks from the detectors as you leave the beach, a few ounces of silver richer. Let's continue. Oh, you. Hey, it's just me. Just want to let you know that I'm thinking about you and looking forward to our date. That's all. I'm lame. See you soon. All right, Mia. <laughs> Let's head to the bakery real quick, cause. Uh... Hey, sugar. Nothing freshly baked today, I'm afraid. Eh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> all the flour I got shipped yesterday turned out to be contaminated. National recall. That's bad. I think I might have a few sticks of beef jerky in the back if you're desperate, but for now, I'd encourage you to come back tomorrow. I I wouldn't have beef jerky. Beef jerky. Just sounds Take care, sad. sugar. Oh, yeah, this is where, uh, it's, uh, quite the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's basically trouble in paradise, honestly. Because, uh, yeah, this is the only day where it's like, oh god, what the fuck do I even do? But, um, the guy that I have up, which I'm, is, which I'm using for all A+, plus, <coughs> that you have to stand up to one of them. And, uh, also, Bonneville is completely optional in this game. So, um, because uh, she's not one of the five destined to be completely honest with you. And a lot of people play this game, so... For any people who are, like, new or anything, that they they learn that by watching this, so... Good job if you do. But, um... If you look in contacts... I should have said this last time. If you look in... Or not last time. Whatever. But if you look in here, these are actually... The secrets that you get. So, for, like, you know... First secret, Ira mentioned that her mom passed away. Also, that she, that she and her dad argue frequently. She didn't want to say more. More later in the game, which is fucking terribly sad. I'll tell you what. We're about to get to her, so um, we're gonna try to write another mood. And um, yeah. So yeah, you see, there's no secrets for Bonabel or Eli. So um, yeah. I have to stand up for Ellie, even though I don't... Even though I like her more than... Ah, God, dude. <laughs> also, by the way, you only get two chances. If you waste those two chances, it's a game over, so... Be extremely careful. So... Let's head to... Wamal. Also, I'm gonna be doing something about this. Also, I'll just do this one, why not? And I do like this. I think this is Cassie's theme. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, hold on. Let me pull up Cassie Caprice. You arrive at the mall five minutes early, heading to the fountain where you agreed to meet with Cassie and waiting. I'm waiting! 20 minutes later, she finally arrives. Spotting you at a distance, she power walks towards you like a model on a on the run, runway for revenge. Oh, shit! 
stopping in front of you, holding her hand up to keep you from saying anything. She says she stares at you for she stares for a moment. The passive all become loudly and haunts with curiosity. Hmm. All right, hold on. Don't say anything for a sec. Hmm. Could you back the fuck up? Yeah, I didn't really get a good look at you before I gave you that little love tap on your face. The good news is, you're kind of cute. Thanks, I'm... I don't look cute at all. I look like a fucking freak. The bad news is that I'm not interested in pervs or voyeurs. So unless you got some magic to whip out and blow my hair back, I'm 99% sure we're already done here. I ain't done. What? <laughs> what you just say like, whip out? As if. Is your plan to convince me you're not a perv by acting pervier? Good luck with that. That's really funny. <laughs> so what exactly were you hoping to accomplish by bringing me up and bringing me here? Did you expect me to give you a list of requirements you need to do before we take our relationship to the next level? Because if you were hoping that my laying the smack on you was some kind of invitation to keep bothering me, I got bad news. And it includes a bottle of mints number five. Mints number five? Is that why you smell like your grandmother? Jesus Christ. Oh no, you didn't! So that's how it is, is it? You're one of those grandma gators always talking smack online about shit they don't understand. Mince uses organic roses and a sophisticated extraction process to create subtle, complex floral notes that interact with your own body chemistry. If it smells like a grandma to you, that's just proof of the garbage genetics used to create your sense of smell. You'd better take that back or my first KO is going to feel like a love tap compared to what's next. Just chill the fuck out. <laughs> Babe, I'm just playing... No offense, but you're pretty hot when you're pissed. I wouldn't say that, but fuck it, that's what the guy says. Hey, Oh, you big fat jerk! Look, you got me all riled up! I got anger goosebumps! I ought to smack you for that. Oh, look, I'm just super passionate about mints, that's all. Can't a girl get a little excited over stuff she's passionate for? All right, all right. You keep giving me that goofy look like you want me to wave a magic wand and forgive you for peeking at my tush. Oh, yeah. Well, too bad. You saw the goods and now you gotta pay the piper. Ha! Oh. <laughs> look at that shit. Yeah, I'm still doing this from the fucking last video. I just got paid and I got cash and time, girl. Give me, give me your three wishes. I ain't a genie. Oh, now see. That's all I'm looking for. Someone to show me a good time to help scrub away bad memories. <laughs> Here's the deal. Take me around the mall, show me a good time, buy me things, and tell me I'm pretty. The whole princess treatment. Man, Jesus, help me. It'll be like a date, but completely involuntary. I'm probably gonna embarrass you and make you do uncomfortable things. Ah, oh, fuck. Sound good, sweet cheeks? Bring it on! Mm, you're big and tough now. But we'll see how long that lasts. It ain't lasting long, I'm saying that right now. Let's start by returning to the scene of the crime. Maybe I'll make you take your clothes off in the change room so I can sneak a peek. <laughs> Just kidding. Look at your face! It's all worried and bruised. <laughs> I love it. I somehow get uncomfortable when I hear that line. But it just so happens you interrupted me while I was trying on a very new, very pretty bra. Don't get your hopes up, though. You get to buy it for me, but the jury's still out on whether you'll see me in it. Oh, good! Eli's working! Eli's my favorite. Don't be mean or weird. Eli! You sassy bitch! How are you? Cassie, my galloping goddess! Welcome back! Welcome back! Kisses! Ooh, I see you brought a cute friend! Is this your new sugar legal guardian? Sugar legal guardian? We're trying it out. Letting them buy me things. 
Speaking of which, where's the boudoir for Zero? I was ogling before someone rudely interrupted me. I'm sorry, okay? I hid it under some skirts in the back. There's just one in your size, and I didn't want any normies to find it. One sec, I'll be a classy mofo and fetch it. Aww, Eli always makes me feel special. You should take notes. The world will be a better place with more Elis. <clears throat> Eli's shit hooked me up with your number, actually. What, are you serious? That's so sneaky and dishonest. Well played. Here you go, babe. Want me to open up a change room for you? I'll even make sure it's locked this time. Just in case a certain someone gets any ideas. I ain't uh, No, no, I'm good. I know it fits. I'm just gonna ponder my options for a little bit. Peachy keen, Jelly Queen. Take your time. I've gotta go pick up and refold a bunch of blankets. I may have tossed them a bit too exuberantly. Be right back! Hmm. Alright, here's the deal. This is the first of my three wishes for you, my cute little genie. I wish to have this. How are you gonna make that happen? Your wish is my command. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're the sweetest fake sugar bowl I've ever had. Fake? Well, I'm disappointed now. Eli, get that rock hard tush back here and ring us through. Coming, my dear. Tee <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> All right, that'll be a hundred and sixty dollars. Cash, credit, or sexual favors. <laughs> sexual favors. And Eli, fifteen and change. He looks it over and gives you a. I've got the perfect strapless dress to go with this. Here you are, and thank you for shopping at Cheek Boutique. Do come again! Tee hee! Alright, it's time to move on to our next challenge. Are you ready? How's your wallet feeling? You can take my credit card. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> Better than my face. <laughs> Real talk. That bra is mega cute on you, just wanted to say, let's roll. Aw, oh, you're sweet with someone who doesn't have any choice. Thanks. Let's head over to the food court. I need nourishment or I get hangry. I already ate food. Get fucked. As a reward for your fine service and taste in bras, I'll permit you to ask me one question. Make it a good one. I'm mega judging you on your question choice. So the shoplift... I fucked it up. The shoplifting thing. Oh, you picked door number one. Awkward conversation topics. Nice pick. Well, if you're gonna get all preachy on me, I'd rather not talk about it. But if you must know, it's just a, a thrill for me, I guess. First cast a secret. Whatever. Why are we even talking about this? What I do is my own business. No one else's. Thank God it don't have the violence. That'd be that'd be bad news, boys. I just think it. I think it's kind of hard, as that's all. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, I appreciate your honesty. That's actually maybe a bit close to the truth for myself, actually. A few years back, things were not going so well for me made bad life choices and got mixed up in some intense mm, situations. I was in a dark place. Hmm. Anyway, the first time I took something, it just sort of happened. I had this little purse and I shoved it into my larger purse. And it all just sort of gave me a thrill. Feeling a power. It's weird to talk about it. But it got me sort of bothered. Hmm. Anyway, as things have gotten better for me, I still have this little urge every time I'm out and about. 
I should probably stop. I pushed my luck pretty far, I guess. You have. Does that answer all of your questions? <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, you were saying something? I was thinking about you naked again. <laughs> Jesus, fuck, man. Ugh, you pig! You're impossible to take seriously. Stop giving me that stupid, goofy grin. So, for our next challenge, I was thinking that we could... Hey, you guys got any money? I just need two dollars to get a bus ticket. Just two dollars. Come on, don't be cheap on me. Hey, don't you dare put your hands on me. The hell is your problem? Maybe you're hard of hearing. I just need two dollars. Come on, I'm hungry. I need a sandwich. I'm a growing boy. I thought it was for a bus ticket. Get away from us, you jerk, before we kick your ass sideways. Oh, look at this spicy broad. Listen up, skank. I ain't... <clears throat> Back up before I knock every damn tooth out of your mouth. Whoa, whoa, no need to get twisted out of shape. I'm out. Get the fuck out of here, man. You take a step forward, and a kid books it in the opposite direction. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Did you see the look on that guy's face? He just about shat a brick! <laughs> well, pervert or no, it's nice having a bodyguard around, I suppose. Maybe if you keep up the superhero gig, I might even give you special privileges. Hey, I can still keep up that gig because I am one. Oh, look at the time! I actually need a jet. I had a good time, though. We should do this again. But maybe leave out the asshole teenager juiced out on hormones. What? We cool? You want to do this again? Yeah, I can't reschedule your promise to embarrass me. I'm not gonna let you break that promise. Oh? Uh, now that's what I like to hear. You're wrong, sucker. Next date, I'm gonna really put you to the test. Oh, shit. Depending how well you do, I might make it worth your while. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna head out. Boop. Thanks for being my slave for the day, perv. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Yeah, this, the Easter egg is right at the end of the day, so... <sighs> I don't know, it's something. July 4th. Cassie. Hey, you better sit down because I'm gonna say something nice to you. I had a great time at the mall with you. <sighs> oh, I'm shaking. You might be as clumsy as a drunk corgi, but you clean up good. Anyway, I look forward to our next date. Maybe I'll wear something extra cute if you're good. Anyway, I gotta run. Lots to do. Don't go speed. Ciao. Eli. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta see this one. You and I should go out. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> Hell yes. Can't wait. Tomorrow. Meet me at the park in the afternoon. It'll be fun and educational now. See you then. Kiss kiss. Alright. And Trouble in Paradise again. We're already at the mall. I'll need to see Eli again. Huh, that sounded harsh. <laughs> Oops. Of course I'm gonna go for Mia. Let's go. Get the guide up. As you walk up to the arcade, the same sights, sounds, and smell from early began to creep into your consciousness. Somehow, even from outside, as a foreboding musk. However, Mio quickly unlocks the door and lets you in. She gives you a quick wave and an awkward side hug, and then flourishes her, her hand toward the bar. Welcome back to Rated A Arcade, the most romantic hotspot in town. Tonight on the menu, we've got cheap beer, infinity quarters for the arcade, and the most brutal miniature golf course this side of the Lazy Links. I will be your date tonight. Please feel free to make inappropriate comments. But make no mistake, in this arcade, I am a goddess. You're going down. 
Oh, fuck, man. Don't tell me that I'll be the one going down tonight. Is a critical error. Do what you will. I've already won. Whoa! <laughs> Ten points to Slytherin for that zinger. Gosh, I'm a little speechless. Slytherin? Who the fuck is that? Well, they say turnaround is fair play, and I don't play fair, so... Turn around? Damn, that was a lot smoother in my head. Good job. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you the slow clap and move on. You got me all flustered here. <laughs> so, what brings you to Sombrosa anyway? Was it our expensive-ass craft beer industry? Or the unusually high number of topless co-eds on our beaches? I was just looking for for a tourist trap to fall into for a month. Sun, surf, game, foot. I hear ya! I tell you, if I could haul one of these arcades down to the beach so I could play in a bikini, wow. Well, that would be incredibly nerdy of me to admit, so I'm going to just alt F4 and abandon that thread. Good. In any case, I've requested bikinis as an official uniform option here at Rated A. So maybe someday my dreams will come true. Well, I broke the ice. I suppose it's your turn to conduct the interrogation. What's on your mind? So let me guess, Sarah Gamer Girl with the heart of gold on the search for the missing diamonds. Minecraft! <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, you're exactly right. And I would have found them too if it weren't for those meddling kids. Which conversation path will you take next, I wonder? <laughs> yeah, I love stuff. I have a place full of stuff, and I'm always doing stuff, too. Stuff, stuff, stuff. <laughs> you look like you've got something to say. Or an itch in a place you can't scratch. Either way, do it. Oh, I will definitely tag me on Twitter for this one. So, time for the big question. What's your favorite video game? Well, you tell me which kidney you like best, and I'll get back to you. Okie dokie. Alright, enough talk. It's my turn to choose. Now we get to the heart of the date. A little game I like to call Get Smashed Bros. You got a Sonic main for Smash Brothers. Literally, I'm a Sonic main. It's... And then I get fucking... Eh, leave it on the floor, whatever. <laughs> is this a scene that's going to get a dialogue sensor in Australia? Oh this is God. definitely one of those adult situations the ESRB warned you about. <laughs> the rules are simple. We play Road Combat 2 Mondo. Every time you lose a stock, you take a shot. Lose a bout, and you lose some clothes. Sound good? I play 98, so... Boy. Ooh, look at old Chun Lee McDigo here. Think you got the goods to easy peasy me? I'm gonna start things fair and not use my main. Seeing as you're fighting out of your weight class. Alright, the tequila is ready. The stage is selected. You better grip stick because here I come! Use code injection to cheat. No. Give it all give it your all, I'll show you can defeat an alt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I guess luck wasn't a dump stat for you. That last stock was a total BS. Well, looks like someone gets a peek at my bra. Ouch. But you don't get to keep my shirt. Seriously, it's like my only shirt. My vision is blurry now. Oh, yuck! That tequila ain't what I would call top shelf. Oh, jeez. All right, time for round two. You'd better not be getting cocky just because you had one lucky round. Oh, man. Play to win. Wow, did you just frame perfect my entire super? That was sick. You've got some mad skills. I got skills. I'm so mad with skill. I was, skills is leaking out of my ear. I mean, not literally, because that would be disgusting. Yeah, that's shot number two. Okay, you're going down this time. My honor demands it. Fight! Unleash your full power. Sonic Unleashed, baby. <laughs> Activate casual mode. Give her a chance. Really? You tell me not to do this one, guide? She just a little for extra edge. <laughs> no. Activate casual mode. Give her a chance. Oh, okay. Yes! I won! <laughs> 
I knew I had it in me. In your face, loser. JK, JK. <laughs> well fought. And to the victor go the spoils. And by spoils, I mean take your shot and let me see those undies. My pants are staying on. Gosh, I'm not sure if you can call a game of Get Smash Bros a success if no one gets naked. But I'm certainly a little smashed. GG. Ah, uh, funny. Hmm, looks like this bottle is almost finished. I'll take one for the team and give it a good home. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was gross, but not nearly as gross as it should have been. Don't worry, the stuff on the bottom always tastes better than, the, than on the top. Brother. <laughs> good, good. You seem like an expert on these things, so I trust you completely. Hey, there we go. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a little tipsy. <laughs> Something on your mind? You look like you've got a few questions burning. First question. Kind of ridiculous. Yes, but only because you seem to be an expert on the subject. Hey. Get sucked into any video game, which would have been. <laughs> I know that answer. If it could be any item in Smash Bros., what would it be? <laughs> the fan! Fear me, bitches! Okay. Anything else you'd like to know? I don't know. Can you? Ah, uh, yes. Can you prove to me you're a real gamer girl? What's your pink? <laughs> well, no, you caught me. I'm actually a fat bearded guy in Canada. <laughs> there are no girls on the internet. Wait a second. Um, well, it's nothing worth bragging about, but I've got a decently successful game stream and a couple of speedrunning world records. <laughs> That's funny. I've got a rule not to bring up how incredibly geeky I am on a first date. You must have tricked me. You're a curious sort, hey? A little inappropriate. Hmm, that's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it goes. Shoot. What's your deepest, darkest secret? Hey, I'm drunk, but not that drunk. I've got stuff I hide from people. I might tell you about it someday if I trust you. End of story. Okay. So, is the interrogation over? Do I get my phone call now? This concludes the question and answer portion of our date. Yes! Beat my PB on the speed run. Let's keep it moving. I have my glasses off for a reason, just... So, what about you? Any deep, dark secrets I should know about? Anything you want to get off your chest? Um... <laughs> I put ketchup on steak, fight me. I love how you trolls. There, I said it. <laughs> okay, you got me with that one. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> You're cute. Mio turns away from you for a moment. From me? Why? Retrieving the empty bottle she polished off only minutes ago. She looks into the bottle and then playfully shakes it upside down, looking like disappointed. As she puts the bottle down, she leans against an arcade cabinet, twirling her finger in her hair. But you can't help but notice small details you hadn't before. Her eyes are vibrant, a burgundy, like mud up beneath the sun. The bell around her neck has a small, playful chime whenever she tosses her hair. Her lips have a soft pink hue, like watermelon candy. Her hands, her legs, her waist, everything about her seems relaxed and fun and carefree. She catches you staring, oh shit, and blushes. The way she abashedly bites her lips stirs something in you, or perhaps it's the drinks. Hey, seeing as we've gotten to know each other so well, I've got kind of a weird favor to ask. Is this an okay segue? Are you worried that this is the part of the story where I turn out to be crazy and do terrible things to you? <laughs> Joke's on you, I am into that shit. <laughs> I somehow knew that was going to be your answer. It's because I'm a... I'm a psychic type. 
Can we not talk about Pokemon, please? Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> Hear me out. As you know, I've worked in this silly place for quite a while. All this, you know, beep boop zap zap stuff. Uh, games. That's it. Mm -hmm. And for reasons I cannot fully explain, I have wanted to do something here. With, like, another person. Not exactly the most romantic setting for intimacy, but I'm following you. What? No! I mean, not that, but, like, thank you. That also sounds really nice. I was hoping that... Uh, okay, this might sound either really dumb or really wackadoo. Wackadoo? I'm gonna use that word for now. But I wanted someone to help me take some pictures. You know, like, saucy pictures. Look at that face. You know what I mean? <laughs> wink wink. Uh, why in the world would you want risque pictures of you in an arcade? Itch! No, I can't tell you. Just pretend it's like a... like a kinky thing. Yeah, a kinky thing. Huh. So, is that a yes? A no? What you think? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I knew this was the best idea. He takes you by the hand over to one of the arcade cabinets. You push your hands into your pockets and takes out your phone. Okay, hold on a sec. Um, get ready for some surgery. <laughs> Mio slowly pulls her shirt off. Oh God! So he instinctively takes off her shirt. Her underwear reminds you of peppermint candy. Okay. Mio is giggling. And her cheeks are burning hot. She sticks her tongue out of you. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Okay, I think I'm good. <laughs> mm -hmm. You snap a few pictures of me as she poses in front of the arcade cabinet. She laughs and blows kisses and wiggles suggestively. You know, she's. It gets a little difficult holding the camera steady. You know, pulls you in closer, pushes against you as she positions you, bites her lower lip. Suddenly she jumps in surprise. Oh, okay. I almost forgot! I need to play this game for sure. It's actually super important to get a few shots of a live game. Anime face, look at that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure I sound really ridiculous, but I appreciate your help. Well, cool. Now get me those photos of Spider Person. <laughs> Or you mean Spider Woman? <laughs> I don't know. Now it turns back to the arcade cabinet and drops a few tokens in the slot. She strategically points her butt at you and laughs. <laughs> okay, ready. <clears throat> Thank God it's. <laughs> Oh my god, it's actually showing. Sensor! <laughs> or put my webcam over it, I don't know. <laughs> Just have a picture of me at first, then you feel an intense urge to reach out and touch her. Oh god, really? You gently slide your hand up her inner thigh, letting your fingers caress her through her underwear. She gasps in surprise. Mia freezes in place for a moment. You're pretty you scared her. <sighs> Oh god, I think I actually didn't need to. Um oh shit. You began to gently massage her through her pings. Oh her own fingers go to meet yours as though they make sure they're real. Okay. Oh my god, she stands for a moment to face you. Do oh. you want to? Oh wow, okay. 
Bring a smile sliding to yourself and then it's back towards the arcade cabinet. Okay, I would. I mean, I would like it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, no. <laughs> 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 Holy crap. Oh, I don't even want to read this. Just go, go, go. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, thank you for saying. Oh, yes. Oh god, I'm just reading this myself. Just enjoy the music and enjoy my fucking embarrassment. <laughs> I'll probably put up a, like an uncensored link for all this. I don't know. For the first few minutes, play through your distractions. Soft kiss, scream, thigh. Oh boy, wow. But as hands reach around her to begin to caress her breasts, you hear, oh. Oh god. Okay, I think I'm good. Quickly slip your tongue inside of her and her knees weak. Oh boy. Oh, God. With a moment's. Oh. Cool. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, right. Um, I need to stop this recording now. <laughs> I need to stop this. Two you collapse, a game over screen flashes on the screen. Oh, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fully remember getting dressed and hanging home, but it feels like hours until you finally sent back to reality. Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, wow. I'm already at max affection. Okay. Wow. Okay, how long did it take me? Around the same time as the. F okay. Wow. <laughs> when you hear background noise, you know something bad is up. But um, yeah, that's that's gonna be all for this episode of Hush Hush. I need to do some things outside of recording and actually like you know edit i'll probably do more of this later not tonight but um yeah this is still fun to do but um let me just save here and uh yeah so thank you everybody so much for watching this episode of the most embarrassing video of hush hush ever but don't worry there's gonna be more in the future but i'm still enjoying this but um yeah, so thank you again everyone for watching, like, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you are new, uh, if you're an existing subscriber, share this with, with the public, and see, and see people's embarrassment of me, so, I'll probably do an uncensored version of this, I don't know, so, um, I'll probably consider it in the future, but I don't know, so thank you again, See you guys next time. Goodbye.